Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about Love CBD and give them a proper review. So I've been using the Love CBD oil, which is the 500 meg 20 ml bottle. Um, so I've been using it for the last few weeks and I used it in the build up towards a conference, which I was quite nervous about. And I did notice my anxiety levels have been much lower. Um, I've also been using it to help me with sleep and stuff like that. And um, so the main things, how does it taste? Quite disgusting. However, that is a good thing. That's what I honestly say. You don't want one that tastes good because then you have to question what is in the ingredients. So quick look over at the ingredients would say it's cannabis extract and olive oil and that's it. And that is a good thing. That's what you want to hear. And also a lot of people ask, well, why olive oil? The reason why is it's a carrier oil. So it helps you with the absorption. You need those good fats to help it go in properly into your system. Um, so that is a great one. You, that's also another way that I think you can spot a kind of cheaper brand is that if they go for a a kind of rubbish basic oil then it's not as good so that's something that i really liked um what else uh is it grown organically and does it have any pesticides this was something that someone actually asked me before i'd even tried it so i had to look it up but basically you know it's grown in a it's it's grown in netherlands and they don't use any herbicides pesticides all those kind of things so it's really good it means you're getting it from a much better source i know obviously you get one from a, maybe a Chinese brand it might not have those certain standards in place so yeah you should always look that up before you get it um, where can I get it from it's available online I'll give some links as well so you can come check out my blog post or you know I'll put it in description um, how much does it cost so this one is around just under the 30 pound mark however you can get them all the way up to around 130 pounds for the 2000 meg version so yeah it the very it's, it's massively very so it depends on how much you want, how strong you want it and stuff like that. So yeah, it's best to get in contact with them if you're doing it for the first time and ask what they recommend. But if you are doing it for the first time, I'd say go for this one, 28 quid. And it, it yeah, it's good. Um, how many sprays should I have? So it says on the dosage, take one a day and then you can max out at three a day at most. But I've been fine with one a day. I wanted to give a review of what other people probably in the same position will be doing so yeah just start with one a day and that's worked fine but yeah i think if you find like it's not having the same effect you can increase the dosage but yeah it might be that you need a, a stronger version um and can you take it abroad i've actually written a little article on that generally i wouldn't recommend taking it on a plane more because even if you are allowed staff just aren't trained in that area and they'll just, just take it off you but I've written a whole article about which countries allow it because a lot of the places in the EU, it has to be under 0.2% THC. And so you might be going from a place that's allowed to another place that's allowed, but they can still give you a hard time and take it away from you. So unless you've got a medical reason for taking it, I wouldn't bring it with you. I'd just leave it home and then just have your holiday and relax. But yeah, hopefully you won't be too stressed on holiday. But um, yeah, I hope that was useful at all. Um, have a great day. Bye.